a patient that has an absolute lack of direct hair will be a patient that has had, typically will be a patient that has undergone a prior hair transplant or hair restoration scalp surgeries, uh, which result in scars, inadequate coverage, and an incomplete look. Strip scar can be made, and uh, also uh, the punch and decker type uh, punch excisions uh, were done in the past. Then again, uh, the punch and decker type graft excisions are quite visible. That's the bed area we intend to drive some grafts from. But the hair is of good quality in the abdomen, and we are encouraged by that. As you can see, hair has been extracted or harvested from the legs and thighs. You can see the abdomen, the chest, a little bit from the chest. And the arms as well. We did extract some hair on the beard. About 10,000 grafts have transferred in the nine day period. As you can see, the hairline has been redefined. This is using a combination of beard hair and um, chest hair mostly. Uh, this was accomplished on day one. Uh, the angulation was basically, the pattern of uh, angulation was uh, dictated by the uh, prevailing uh, pre-existing hair, which is uh, from the flap surgery. Um, not exactly what we would have planned for going into the surgery, but uh, we had no choice but to uh, try to make the best of the situation with what we have. Uh, in all, it looks quite uh, fine thus far. The arm hair was used. It's not the uh, least in terms of quality is arm hair, and most of it was applied in the mid scalp. However, this was mixed up with uh, some abdominal hair as well as some beard hair. And this is the sides you can see. And as of day nine, we have successfully uh, touched on all the areas of uh, thinning, including sites of scarification from uh, old styled punch extractions. We're looking at Results of body hair transplantation, combination of body and beard hair, six months after transplantation of 10,000 units for hair purposes. It's a history of previous uh, hair transplant procedures and other scalp hair restorative procedures, history of flap, and also a strip that was taken from the hairline that imparted a scar, and we want to scar on the hairline, as well as a lot of stippling on the scalp, the result of antiquated old style black and decker type punch techniques and the surgery was done six months ago the idea being to create a more natural looking hairline what do you think of your results incredible fantastic results i was looking for improvement but uh, this was fantastic we're now focusing on the hairline most of the hair that was placed in the hairline came from the abdomen some from the beard area as well as you can see there's a fine subtle widow's peak that is there and uh, it's come out very well and that's the temple but you can see the darker hairs this is mostly chest hair a bit of beard hair there as well and that's the top view as you can see at present you can hardly make up the uh, punch excision uh, scars that uh, riddle the top of the head are beginning to slowly fade as the top begins to fill in with all body and beard hair. Body hair transplantations tends to start manifesting optimally at about the ninth month and uh, improvement can continue for up to two years. The walk extended all the way to the crown and as you can see the crown also which used to be essentially empty with scars is beginning to fill in and on closer view you can see the evolution of a world that he artificially created. The hair is all very fine hair growing out evidently body hair and the world is beginning to assume its uh, character.
it looks like a natural thinning crown at this point. We expect that at the 9 to 12 month mark, it will fill in even more. And this is an extremely close up view of the abdomen. As you can see, there is really no evidence of any surgery. In fact, a good part of the hair has grown back. So there is ample supply of body hair in the event of any future needs. This time around, we decided to wet the hair. So here is the hairline wet and the hair basically brushed back uh, slick. You can see the definition of the hairline. And this is a very good depiction of the kind of uh, results we have achieved with this uh, surgery because the hair is all wetted. What do you think of your results? Fantastic. It exceeded my expectation. I initially was looking for improvement, but this was the best I could have possibly uh, imagined. Excellent.